my name is Hayley Louise and welcome to my channel. Season's greetings to all of you here today and today I'm going to do a Christmas tag. This is called the Holly Jolly Christmas tag and feel free to do it yourselves. I will leave all of the questions in the description box down below. I just thought it's a funky tag and I'm going to answer some questions. Haven't really looked at them so this should be interesting. It consists of 20 questions so quick fire let's get started number one favorite christmas movie <sighs> this is very very tough i would say nightmare before christmas but that's kind of like you know before christmas it has it in the title oh there's so many i feel like it changes every single year um i do like the originals like a white christmas and things like that the grinch that's pretty good. I do quite like just gen in general, like the Hallmark channel or like I think on Sky they actually have like a Christmas movies, like 24, which runs Christmas movies 24 hours a day. And that is like Christmas overload. And they're so cheesy, but I love it. Number two, are you on the naughty list or the nice list? Um, I would like to say I would be on the nice list, but at the same time, I feel like I'm the person that if Santa were to actually like appear in my house with a bag of presents and like his hand on his hip, like looking at me, I would probably be like, listen, mate, I can explain everything. Show us an embarrassing Christmas photo. Oh no, I don't know if I actually have one. I know that sounds really, really bad. I'm gonna have to have a look through and see if I can find one. If I find one, then I shall place it here for you. Now. Number four, have you ever had a white Christmas? I think so, like when I was younger, um, it actually snowed here the other day in the UK, uh, but it didn't stay, unfortunately. So unless it starts snowing again, probably not. Not for a long while we haven't had a white Christmas. We're not very lucky in the UK. It's usually like rain and sleet. It's lovely. <laughs> Number five, do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until the last minute? Okay, I have a confession to make. I shop for Christmas all through the year. I start uh, in the January sales and I put stuff back. It's a problem but I like to be prepared, but I always seem to leave everything else surrounding the aspect of Christmas until the last minute, like wrapping and writing cards and things like that. I am terrible at actually getting around to doing that part. The shopping, pretty easy, pretty standard. I like to order online, get out of the way of people. Um, but yeah, and then if I come across anything while I'm out and about doing things in December, then, um, then I'll pick it up. But yeah, a lot of the time, very, very prepped in terms of presents. Number six, if you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? I would definitely, definitely be in The Grinch because I want one of those fabulous, fabulous hairdos. I kind of feel like I'm channeling the beginning of one in this video now, um, but yeah, oh girl the fashion in that movie number eight oh god name all of santa's reindeer okay how many is there there's eight isn't there dasher donna blitzen comet rudolph da -na 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 dasher donna comet blitzen rudolph I've said the same five, haven't I? Oh, no, I can't do it, I can't do it. And I'm not gonna cheat. I'm on the internet and I'm not even gonna cheat. Sorry, someone tell me in the comment section down below because I actually don't know. Now see, if you'd have asked me all the name of the Ninja Turtles, I could have told you that. Nine, when did your family put up your Christmas tree and who decorates it? Uh, so, uh, we've had quite a, we've had quite a, a busy work schedule uh, this year. Um, so probably around the second week of December our Christmas tree goes up. Nine times out of ten it will be me and my mum and we just sit down and like get it all out, throw it everywhere and uh, then put it all on the tree and then it makes it look all pretty and stuff. So yeah, usually me and mum, second week of December, yes. Number ten, is your Christmas tree real or fake? 
I have said this in a previous video, but um, we had a real Christmas tree a few years ago and my mum carried it into the house and then she started coming up in hives and then she was like, oh, okay, so this is why we haven't had a real Christmas tree in years. I'm actually allergic. Um, so fake all the way for us. But I think that our Christmas tree is quite pretty. It looks like it's got snow on it. Number 12, peeking at gifts or be surprised? I do not like uh, peeking at presents. Uh, my mum always tries to like give me presents, be like, this will be useful now, take it. And I'm like, no, keep it for Christmas, it's for Christmas. I really don't like peeking at presents like for me, but I'm always so nosy to see what people have gotten other people um so i literally know like everything that my sister's getting i know everything that all of the rest of the family are getting like i like to know that sort of stuff um but yeah for myself i want it to be a surprise 13 show us your ugly christmas sweater if you have one by jove do i have one i have quite a few i think they're all rather fabulous i don't really know if there is a ugly one there probably is. Oh, wait here, I'll get one. Red, very tradish colour. And it's got snowflakes and a penguin on. I quite like that one. I think it's fabulous. Some people think it's ugly. Oh, well. If you want to see the rest of my uh, collection, you should subscribe and watch my Vlogmas because I have a few. <laughs> 14, if you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who, could, who would it be? Ooh. Deary me, there's quite a few. Eagle VP, vlog from the bog, decisions, decisions. <laughs> Fat man or spider man, but only if he was upside down. 15, does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not one for uh, being in the kitchen as such. I can cook pasta like a pro. But uh, yeah, in general, we don't, like mum does stuff like she does like proper roast potatoes on Christmas day. But no, mostly we mix drinks. I pour the Baileys, mum makes the potatoes. It's kind of, you know, like teamwork. 16, are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? I would like to think that I'm okay at wrapping presents. Um, sometimes certain boxes and certain shapes just do not work and I have to like throw it on the floor and just be like, no, this is going in a gift bag. It's just not working. This is not the vision that I entailed. Most of the time, I feel like I'm okay. I'm a good folder, you know? So um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that answers the question or not. Number 17, have you ever gone Christmas caroling? Yeah, when we were younger, we used to do it like all of the time, um, but not in the last couple of years. Sing along in the song, sing along in the song. What the bloody hell are you talking about? Sing along like in the car. I'm quite happy to just get out an old Christmas tune and do it then. Um, but no, haven't really gone caroling. I don't think people would really appreciate it that much in all honesty. Uh, number 18, what tops your tree? Um, well, this year it will be a beautiful flashing multicolored star. Um, but yeah, usually a star or an angel or last year for a short amount of time we had a uh, Christmas hat and then a bow because we forgot a tree topper. Didn't make that mistake this year. 19, do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? Uh, I kind of think like fresh start, fresh new year, I'm gonna do this, this and this. So I kind of think yes, okay, that is New Year's resolutions. Um, but I don't like to um, wait and use the new year as an excuse to get started on something. I feel like if you are intending on doing something and you have decided in um, September or October that that is what I want to do and I'm going to do that, but I'm gonna wait until January, like don't wait until January. Start it when you want to start it because otherwise by the time January rolls around, everyone has this thing of like they're really really up together with their new year's resolutions and then it all just goes to pot doesn't it i know very very few people that have made like a massive list of new year's resolutions and then have actually stuck to it my hat's off to those people because i know that if i start something in january i kind of stick to it for a little while and then that's it so i just have resolutions 
yearly like throughout the year throughout like monthly resolutions weekly resolutions daily i like to do it that way rather than bang it all into the start of the year and number 20 you have been granted one christmas wish what will it be so if i'm thinking about like my childish materialistic kind of side I would love a PS4 because I would really really like to start a gaming channel so I have an Xbox Xbox one and I would like a PS4 so I can get like a whole range of games um, that's like my child materialistic wish in terms of YouTube I would love 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 to hit 1,000 subscribers like before Christmas it's not gonna happen like I know that's very very unrealistic but it would be an absolute dream if I could just hit that like threshold because I just really want to go to 1000 the beginning of like last year I didn't even think that I was gonna hit like 100 or 200 or 300 and like where we are now it's is crazy like that's a massive amount of people and thank you so much for everyone who subscribed um, but yeah like YouTube terms a thousand subscribers would be utterly amazing but unrealistic but just in general, if I could have a Christmas wish, do you know what? I would really, really like something so simple. I would like a good night's sleep with a lion, wake up and have a really nice cup of tea, and then just everything goes smoothly throughout the day. Just a really chill, everyone enjoys themselves, laid back Christmas. I feel like that is what I would really like for myself for Christmas and my fam. So that was it, that was the 20 questions of the holly jolly Christmas tag. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, feel free to do this yourself guys. Links and questions and everything is in the description box down below. Help yourself. Let me know if you do it because I would love to come over. Subscribe if you feel like it and follow the rest of this journey on my vlogmas situation. I'm uploading every day throughout December all in the run up to Christmas so feel free to check that out. As always all of these social media links and whatnot are in the description box down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you are looking forward to a holly jolly Christmas this year. Press the notifications bell, it does something. It's Jingle Bells, this is time of year, press the bell. I will see you guys next time in another video. Bye! Ho ho ho!